Hi, this is Hans Wilhelm and in this video in the Life Explained series I will give a short overview of how the stars and the planets are influencing our life. Now this is not a class in astrology. This is the spiritual explanation which is very logical, easy to understand and most of us are totally unaware of. As you have heard me saying in my other videos, as compressed light ether beings, we are all perfect, pure spiritual beings who once lived in the absolute spiritual reality – God, love, heaven, whatever you wish to call it. However, over eons of time we have removed ourselves from this absolute reality by turning away through egoistic, self-centered and unloving thoughts and actions. In other words, we have put shadows onto our pure spiritual essence, our soul. These burdens have weighed us down and we have lowered ourselves to the level of the material universe into which we now incarnate repeatedly here on planet Earth, into the physical body, where we are stuck in the cycle of reincarnation. By leaving the state of absolute reality, we have entered the causal or relative universe. Here every cause has an effect. It is the realm of sowing and reaping. Whatever we send out comes back to us, however not always right away. Whatever we sow today in this lifetime may come back to us many lifetimes later. Now the question is now, how and where are all our feelings, thoughts, words and actions recorded? I go deeper into this in my video How Karma Works, but let me summarize it here. Whatever we feel, think, say or do is stored in several places, just like in computers. Firstly, of course, in our soul. Then it is also stored in our genes, in our cells, in the Akashic Records and most importantly, in the corresponding planetary constellations of the material and semi-material universes of similar vibration. Like attracts like. The stars and planets are the record keepers of all our negative aspects. Life is consciousness and consciousness is sending and receiving. Everything is in constant communication. That is also what all the stars, the planets, the galaxies in the material and semi-material universes are doing. They are a cosmic information storage and communication system which is constantly shifting and moving. We are living in an unimaginably large communication network. The stars and planets are continuously sending and receiving information, just like our brain. <laughs> Here you can see the amazing similarity between these two systems, the macrocosmos and a microcosmos. Have you ever wondered how this satellite's program was invented? Technology has simply copied this natural process of the cosmos. So over eons of time and many, many lifetimes, we have all loaded a lot of negative aspects, meaning a lot of garbage, into this immense cosmic computer. The problem is that today we don't know and don't remember all the bad stuff we did long time ago or even less so in past lifetimes. And this is where the planets come in to help us and guide us. They are our personal data banks. Whenever they have reached a certain position or saturation, they download back to us exactly what we have once stored in them. This is called karma. And we are reaping what we have sown. This can be a small irritating situation or horrific blows of fate, illnesses or other disasters. Every day these planets are sending back to us what we are ready to face and clear up. That's why we never know exactly what the new day will bring and each day is totally different for every human being. This downloading of a certain karma can also be for large groups of people like whole countries. That is called group karma. But here is the good thing. Even the most horrific thing that we once have done and have stored in the planets will not come back to us suddenly or as a total surprise. No, we always get firstly some small warnings. We are admonished over and over again by the eternal law. This would allow us to stop our negative activities and clear things up before they hit us in full measure. This clearing up usually means forgiving others, asking for forgiveness, repentance and no longer do it. In other words, putting love back where 
we once let our ego rule us. This is how we slowly free our soul from the many layers of burdening soul garments. And that is the path to absolute freedom and the path back home. So the information that is downloaded to us is the building block of our day. Every second, minute and hour consists of information that we once stored into the causal computer. With an average life expectancy of only about 800,000 hours, we can now see that each hour is very precious and carefully crafted for us. And the main reason why we experience this earthly life is to clear up all the garbage that we once stored into the universal causal computer. And if we are not watchful in this lifetime, we will continue uploading new negative aspects that eventually will make up our future days and lives here on earth. We are fully responsible of how we will live in the future. So whenever something gets our attention throughout the day via our outer and inner senses, it is the moment of self-exploration. We ask ourselves why. There are no accidents in life. The stars even influence where we are today. If we are at home, visiting grandmother or traveling to Timbuktu, it is all carefully orchestrated. The fact that we suddenly should think of a certain person with whom we had a fallout a long time ago or the image of a picture that brings up envy, rage or any other emotion in us. Or we suddenly are reminded of something painful from our childhood. Everything around us speaks to us. If you have seen my video The Law of Projection, you know that everything around us is merely a mirror of ourselves. Everything wants to tell us something and it is well orchestrated for our benefit. We can ask our guardian spirits to touch our conscience so that we recognize what we should clear up today. And with the power of God within and Christ, we sincerely repent and clear it up and no longer do it. If we are truly living in the here and now, in the moment, we will not miss these important impulses. Now let me summarize. All our negative feelings, words and actions have been stored in the repository planets and stars of the universes. According to their ever-changing positioning and saturation, that information is downloaded back to us as karma. Every second, every minute and every hour of the day gives us the opportunity to undo or reduce the impact of that karma coming back to us. There are quite a few books on this subject. I personally like this little but very comprehensive book that is available on Amazon for a very small price. It is called Live the Moment by Gabriele. As always, it has been an honor to be with you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.